Fargo divas ya di magi Dio yo no prato taya Welcome, Saggies. Welcome, welcome. I'm here, Rena Wells, your Divine Goddess Oracle, and we are here doing a Twin Flame read for you for January 2019 for your Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to take a look at your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, see where the energies are playing out, see where portals are happening. So hit like, share, and subscribe while you're watching. It's just a little click away. Send back some good karma my way. And um, that would be awesome if you're new. Hi. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you were called to me. You're, uh, you're called here for a reason. People only find me when they're really called. <laughs> but that's like everything in life, right? So hit like, share, and subscribe if you're new. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for all your support and your comments and your likes. Um, I'm growing pretty quick and I'm really super excited about it. So I am also a fellow twin flame. Um, I'll tell you guys my story. There's going to be lots coming up in 2019. I'm going to be um, giving you some, you know, manifesting advice, um, how to stand into your divine goddess self, how to really truly work on self-love. Because trust me, you guys, I've been through the dark night many times. I've dealt with many traumas in my life. I can even go into that if you want. I'm writing a book. I was kidnapped, drug raped, um, have had childhood abuse, of all abuse, of everything. So... Um, I can definitely speak to energy. <laughs> Divine Masculine. We're going to go into this. Divine Masculine is sitting in a place of renewing your life. All right, guys. Before I blab on about me, um, I want to tell you guys to, uh, there's some timestamps down below. These readings were given to me by a gypsy lady when I was just eight years old at the cottage. She saw me. She's like, oh, Lena, you got to learn this. And I thought it was just for myself. But yeah, that's how long I've been reading tarot. Since I was about eight. So... Um, it's morphed into like, I don't go by the meaning of the cards. I go by what spirit tells me. So here we go. You guys, let's find a divine feminine card for Sagis. Thank you. Oh, I have never seen this one before. Psyche. Whoo. This is interesting. Okay. So we've got two portals here. Divine masculine is currently renewing their life. Okay, they're they're getting rid of the shit that doesn't that doesn't serve them anymore. They're like, I'm done with this. I know what I need. I know what I don't need. And they're really at a place of clearing their life out right now. Okay, so they're ending things if that's relationships, uh, marriages, karmic situations, following mission, getting a new job, ending what they've been doing. That's all coming into fruition now for them. For the divine feminine, how you're marrying is that this is the story of Psyche, who's a mortal woman. Um, taken to a mysterious castle to be married to a fierce dragon. Okay, I'm going to read this because I've never seen this card before. Her husband comes to her in the middle of the night and she falls in love with him. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Told that she must never look upon his face, she disobeys this injunction and finds that her husband is really Eros, the god of love. When she wakes, he flies away, leaving her forever. Psyche roams far and wide to find Eros. She goes to his mother, Aphrodite, who gives her four tasks to complete, each seemingly impossible. The final task requires her to descend into Hades and retrieve a box of beauty. Though the process of meeting the challenges of her task and integrating her experiences, Psyche grows from an innocent young girl into a mature goddess. Psyche is a rich reminder of our imperative to grow. She reminds us that the process of life takes us into dark places as well as light just as the butterfly emerges from the dark chrysalis into the light oh that is so beautiful so <laughs> you're and, and that's showing the telepathy between you guys okay i'm getting told that you guys need to recognize the connection you need to recognize um where you currently um are getting visited in your dreams the telepathy when they pop into your vibration you're maturing into your goddess self, Divine Feminine. This is really beautiful to work in the darkness. And I'm getting a lot of Divine Feminines learning how to do that. Um, it's a lot of what I deal in coaching, too. A lot of Divine Feminines have a hard time integrating the darkness and welcoming the darkness. We've been told that 
the dark side of the, the feminine energy is not something we should be playing in. And honestly, it's the true way to mastery and to grow. So let's take a look here. This is an interconnection spread for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising 2019 for Twin Flames. Okay, this is Divine Counterpart, Soulmates, Twin Flames. Take it as you wish, um, but I mostly deal with Divine Unions, okay? Um, I, do feel, I deal with other soulmates, soul kind of connections, okay? I don't deal with karmic and stuff. Okay, let's see here, spirit. What is going on? Thank you, Aho. What is going on for Sagis in regards to their energies with their divine complement? Okay, thank you. Okay. The overall read for this is, well, getting, going into the darkness. I mean, can we get more validation than that? You are going into the darkness. It's a rites of passage, guys. I hate to say it, but it's true. And um, I don't care if you're on a healing journey. People are telling you that you don't have to face your dark. It's a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> when you're this powerful and you're in a divine union, yeah, the darkness will call you. It will continue to come up. And so both of you are, I mean, the divine masculine here is getting rid of what no longer serves him. And the divine feminine is really rising in her power to maturing into um, what spirit wants her to be doing. And looking at how to transforming your life from darkness, how to catapult into your mission. So this spread, this interconnection spread is going to show you guys where you're currently residing energetically, ebbing and flowing with the energies in between all of you and how that is flowing um, energetically between you and the divine masculine or divine feminine, whatever, whoever's watching with your divine other divine complement. Okay. I love this spread. This spread is beautiful. Okay. So this is really, this read is really about the divine feminine. You're here in the right in the middle about destiny. Okay. So things that are happening to you right now, divine feminine, it's like this initiation phase. Okay. Going and looking for your divine masculine, but recognizing it's a journey within that you've got to go into the darkness and you've got to mature into this goddess. Um, and so this is, um, a new cycle that's coming up for divine feminines. And with this new cycle, it's showing you that you need to um, plant your seeds and you need to have patience with yourself. Okay. You are bringing in the divine masculine through this destiny, through this upswings, through the deep inner work that you're, you're through this clearing of darkness. Cause you've got the devil here. Okay. So as you know, as you're clearing a lot of this darkness, you're bringing in this union, you're bringing in the lover's card, you're bringing in your divine masculine. That's why they're clearing and decluttering. They are directly connected to your energy. Okay, directly connected to your energy. And so that's why I'm feeling the telepathy, the dreams, the, the knowing. Trust that. Okay, that's really coming forward. Um, let's get some clarifiers here. And although I don't feel there's much, but let's clarify the temptation. What ego patterns are coming up? Spirit. This is my clarifying deck. I had already cleared and shuffled before we started. We'll do this anyways. Um, can you please clarify the devil here, please, spirit? Thank you. And just burn out the can. That just happened in the last read. What? We're not taking reversals today, but let's go. So this is, yeah, for you to be able to move forward and plan, you know, looking ahead at the horizons and turning your back on certain things and looking up at, you know, where this mission work is, where your life is going and planting seeds, right? And planning. This is a healing journal journey. There's definitely a lot of healing from the darkness and holding strength in this moment. So divine feminines could be going through a dark night of the soul. Okay. Take it as you resonate. It could be one or the other, but there's definitely, um, the, whoever's holding the feminine energy is going through a deep healing process right now. So this is the new cycle that's coming forward. Okay. That's all I felt to clarify for you guys. That's the energy and where you're currently at with your divine masculine. Let's can see where you're mirroring, guys. Sagis, let's see where you're mirroring. Um, yeah, let's see where you are mirroring. 
Now this spread is very interesting. It takes up a lot of room. So we're just gonna move some cards back. Um, I did pre-shuffle, but we're gonna do this again. This is Sagittarians. Please show us the Divine masculine and Divine Feminine and where they are currently mirroring in each other, okay? Keep all cards upright. What is going on with Sagittarius? Sun, moon, and rising in their divine union place spirit. It's being shown that a lot of clearing is happening. Okay. How this works is we take one from the subconscious, one from the bottom, one from the top. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Doesn't necessarily need to be that way. The first one out is the emperor and death. So that's the overall, wow, read here, okay? So you can fast forward because this does take a while to pull. We've got Judgment and the High Priestess. Okay, we've got, nope, that's not one. Okay, and sword. So yeah, you may want to fast forward this because this takes a little bit. The king and queen. We need to take this one. King and queen. Not taken that. All right. Taken this one. The ten of cups and the devil. So yeah, there's a lot of um, understanding the emotional realm. Okay, this is part of the maturing of the divine feminine. Um, and also the masculine is going to help because there's ego patterns coming up. So that's also been reiterated here and what's mirroring. So let's keep going. Four and six, no, Hierophant and the Ace. So what do we take? Addition and six, no. So we basically take one major arcanas come in, kings and queens we take. Um, we don't take pages, we don't take and um, anything else. So that's how that works. The Hierophant. The Hierophant and the Chariot. This Chariot has come out in every single read. Every single one. There's a lot of moving on here with the collective, guys. We've got two knights. We take pairs. So we've got two knights here. Um, we've got two of them. Nope. Not being told to take that. Okay. Oh, Spirit is saying take that. All right. All right. Here we go, guys. We're going to clarify these. Let's just sort them here. Again, use the timestamps if you're still watching how I'm doing this. I mean, some of you like to watch it, so that's all good. I like to watch the shuffling, too. I like to see, feel the energy of what's what's going on. So, see if you can see all that. Perfect. Maybe we can move this down a little bit so you can see. Okay. go see thee such. This is Satnam Car. If you guys want to know what song this is, all right. Okay, so we're going to clarify now, and then we're going to get right into the reading. So, spirit, this clarifying doesn't take long. I was downloaded last night, and how to do this a little differently than how I do my personal readings because we're on a bit of a time crunch. I'm trying to do these at 15 minutes. Um, I just get so into the readings that I want to give you guys as much information as possible, but for me to pump up so many pump out so many videos on top of my readings, I'm getting really behind in things, so I'm sorry. I have to cut them a little short. I, you know. All right. Thank you, Spirit. This is for Sagittarius. I'm going to be rising for January 2019. Remember, all my readings are timeless, guys, so it doesn't matter when you see this. If you're seeing it, you're meant to see it. 
All right, so one from the bottom, one from the top is how we are clarifying. We're taking all uprights. Okay. Overall, read uh, what you guys are mirroring right now is that the divine masculine is dying. Okay. Both of you are going through a transitional piece. Okay. And the reason why you're going through a transitional piece is because somebody has walked away and has moved forward. Okay. In this connection. Okay. And I feel it's the divine feminine has created this, this, this new transitional piece. The divine masculine is feeling that. Okay. Is feeling that the divine feminine has walked away is feeling the change okay because they're still in you know having a lot of anxiety and i feel that you are too okay and how this is mirroring is you know um because you've had to walk away you're feeling the same the same pain so you guys are definitely um feeling this that you are in um you're connected telepathy wise okay you're connected through the energy and through the dreams okay so what we've got here is We'll pull the clarifiers in a minute. We've got the high priestess and the judgment. So this is all, you know, reconciliation is going to happen at some point. You've got to trust in that. You've got to use your intuition in this situation. And you've got to be fully connected to the 5D, okay? When I say the 5D, you're, you know, most of you guys of all souls know what I'm talking about. You've got to, you know, read from your own book of, of, of knowledge that's inside of you. And to be pulling that in so that these, these um, judgments and reconciliation and so spirit can come in and bring illumination into the situation. Because as that's happening, that's why you're experiencing the tower moment and you're not having teamwork or harmony or there could be third party situations as well. But these are all falling apart now, okay, because you're using your intuition. What we've got here is, you know, the devil in regards to emotions. There's still um, emotions that aren't coming from the soul or the heart. It's coming up from ego patterns, things that, you know, your loss, your lack, your childhood, um, things in how you viewed relationships in the past and that you're both going through this. So you're trying to sort out, you know, what's for my highest good? What isn't for my highest good? What's ego? What's not ego? And don't worry, you will, you know, have success over the shadow work. This is the shadow work. You're going into Hades, like, like this card indicates, right? This is, you know, the shifting and sorting that the divine masculine is going through, getting rid of stuff that no longer serves. You're both mirroring this, okay? Going through this darkness together, going through the shadow work. You will have victory and success out of this, okay? It's just going to take time to sort. Um, we have here the uh, two knights, okay? So this is significant because these are two knights. So these are still, you know... Uh, Two uh, knights that are still maturing, okay? It could be mas it's divine masculine and divine feminine. You're both um, directly mirroring this. One is learning how to speak truth, and the other one is learning how to move on the earth plane alone, okay? One is learning how to be very honest. See, I was putting the sword of truth down his throat and how to communicate this, how to come forward and communicate with deep authenticity. And this one's learning how to move around the earth plane. So they're both fast moving, but they're both about how to create something in the earth plane alone and how to communicate truth and offering something in, in, in messaging and how to communicate now. Um, there has to be a, a type of authenticity. And this type of work takes work to do to come from a deep authentic place because of the ego stuff, the shadow work that comes through, what we thought was true ends up not being true it creates you to have to get even deeper into what authenticity is right so this is you know the queen of wands maturing into a, a passionate queen maturing into how to create passionately in the earth plane and emotionally you know this is um being really authentic with how things look and not being worried about how things look as well is the message that I'm getting. And this is about hanged man. That's why you've had to go into your corners and, and pull into this enlightened place. Okay. So I feel there could be, there is some communication here if it's texting or whatnot, but there has to be more of an authenticity um, behind energy behind it. And that's the shift that's going to start happening for you guys. Okay. What we have here is, you know, a new cycle that's starting. This has come up in almost 
almost every single one of the reads too. Um, new cycles, new beginnings in regards to this abundant new four. This is the twin flame card and other in my other deck, so I still consider it that. Um, because this is a beautiful stand of abundance, um, of everything that you desire, your food, your your spirituality, your structure, your you know, um, it's just a lot of abundance and new cycles that are starting. Okay, things that are ending. If you see, there's a group reaper sitting there. Okay, she's she's sitting there like you can't come into this abundance until you do this this work. Okay, and this is you know <laughs> the in and out energy. That's why you're still gonna get some in and out energy. And this is the divine masculine learning how to work with this in and out energy. I feel that it's the divine masculine that's been in and out passionately because they're still they're still figuring out them. Um, their truth as well too right there's still a lot there that you're that they're trying to sort out okay we've got the king of of pentacles oh sorry now we've got the queen of swords okay we have the king of swords over here oops we have the king of swords sorry we have the knight of swords we've got the the king of wands now so we also have the queen of wands here so you guys know this is mirroring um, this is about coming into a mature place in communication and a mature place of what passion really is and how to um, bring that to the earth plane. That's why you've had to go into hermit mode, okay, and why you're both wounded warriors, okay? You really are being a little defensive about things, being defensive about the, the work, the, the shadow work that's coming up. I get it. I, I, I mean, trust me, I get it. It's, um, it's not easy, this path. So this is just, again, a general read, right? Um, I don't, I feel like I'm rushing through, but if I really sit here and get into more depth, it's like, I'm going to be here forever. And, and I feel bad not being able, like, I, cause I can see so much more and I'm, and I'm being told by spirit, keep pushing forward. So we got to keep pushing forward. Okay. This card has come out for every single one of the Twin Flames, okay? Moving forward, but still being in Hermit mode. So you're moving internally, okay? This is an internal movement. It's not anything in the physical world. This is all energetic stuff that's happening. Um, because it's working through the shadow work, okay? The High Priestess is here bringing up a lot of subconscious stuff and resting as you do this. So this is <laughs> almost exactly the same thing, okay? So both of you are doing shadow work. Um, both of you are really recognizing yourself, okay, and healing things. I know it's hard. I know the shadow, you're going to have victory, okay? Spirit is saying you're going to have victory over it. You will, okay? You've got the devil again. You've got the devil twice, right? You've got the devil up here. You've got the moon. You've got the, the high priestess a couple times, so... Um, a lot of a lot of clearing going on with you guys we've got temperance and justice so this is balancing out decisions in the earth plane okay and he's also like death so these choices are going to make or break things so be very careful on how you're choosing okay you want to make balanced choices in your life you both need to because here we've got things the ego becoming illuminated you're becoming illuminated to the ego both of you are you're becoming illuminated in what's going on between your connection and where, where, where the shadows were in your connection. Okay. Cause you can't have any type of codependency or shadows between twins. It doesn't work that way. You've got to be really on an inner path of truth and authenticity. And that's, what's coming up here. The ace of swords is coming up. So we've got the 10 of pentacles. Now in other decks, this is a beautiful, you know, everything that you want in the earth plane, but this is like got a shoddy little house here. Okay. So this is, this is what you created. This is what I'm seeing is like this. You built your foundation based on like basic earth plane standards. Okay. That's leveling up. That's moving up, moving on up as truth is coming forward and as you're making decisions. So the truth of decisions, the blindfold will be taken off here is what I'm getting as you move through of what you are creating in this new um, cycle that's opened up and decisions, the truth of decisions will be illuminated for you as well. Okay, so you're getting a lot of guidance from spirit in regards to how to be this truth, a truthful new beginning for both of you. And it's internal. It's internal. Okay, so 
we've got the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands, okay? So this is about marriage, commitment to self on this new beginning, on this new passionate beginning that you're both embarking on and being guided by spirit and commitment to self, okay? It's a marriage of the souls, okay? Being committed to how your souls are committed to each other, okay? Being committed to that type of energy work, okay? So that you can bring in this new cycle and a brand new beginning. All new beginnings, all new beginnings. It's really beautiful, okay, Saggies? So that's how you guys are marrying. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how, how that was for you. I know it's very general and I went through very quickly, but... It's such a big spread, but I wanted to still share it with you guys because I know there's nothing like this that's out there. And so I wanted you to get a feel of, of how this is interplaying energy-wise, okay? Love, share, like, subscribe. Let me know. I'll do my little, you know, heart that I can't ever do. But, you know, I mean, you know, I know I, I mean good by that. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys um comment let me know how this is if you'd like to book a reading just take a look down below all my information is there you can email me and um i'd be more than willing to work with you i'd be so blessed okay love you guys namaste bye